Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a discounts on Shopify. So right here we are in the Shopify dashboard in the home section. All you have to do is go ahead and click over here to discounts that will take you right over to the Shopify discount section for your online store. Now I do have a few different template discounts already created. We'll be walking through all of these as well as the different types of discounts. Now when it comes to building out discounts within your Shopify store, all you have to do is go ahead and click on on create a discount and then you can see here you can select the different discount types so we have amount off products a specific product based discount we have amount off order uh, a specific order discount you also have buy X get Y maybe if you want to do buy one get one free or maybe buy up to a certain dollar amount and get a free necklace or a free ring and you also have a free shipping so specific shipping based discounts so we're gonna be breaking down discount types we're gonna be going through all of these as well as a few different templates discounts and styles uh, that would be applicable to most online stores so let's go ahead and get started with amount off products so as you can see once you click that then it creates a draft mode for your discount so you have amount off products a specific product based discount now as you're going through here and creating the discount uh, we'll be walking through the different types of options that you have and everything will appear here on the summary section uh, so you can really get a breakdown of the type of discount you're creating how you're creating your discount and you know additional information and metrics into things you'll want to know uh, for your discount. So first off, all you have here is the method. So you have discount code. You also have automatic discount. So discount code is something where, you know, customers need to enter this code at checkout. So say for example, uh, let's do like save 10. Now, another good thing to keep in mind when you're creating discount codes is you want to make things that are easy for customers to understand and type in as well. So, you know, personally, I don't really love the generate feature, although you can also generate randomized discount codes if you want to generate something, you know, specific. Maybe if you're doing email marketing or something like that, you want to have specific discounts. You know, I personally like to name them. Uh, so let's do like save 10. Another tip here is make sure that they are, you know, if you're doing save 10, like 10% off or something like that, you don't want to do like 10 off. Cause if you do 10 off, then the, the, you know, the zero and the O kind of line up kind of close and it's may confuse customers or get customers frustrated. So I like to avoid doing typing and discount codes where the numerals are too close or too similar for people to uh, get. So save 10 is a good example. Uh, so you type in your discount code. Uh, and you could do a percentage base or a fixed amount. So say percentage base, you want to do 10% off. Uh, you have that there. You can see 10% off collections. You can also do fixed amounts. So say if you want to do, you know, uh, $10 off all collections, you could do $10 off. We'll stick with percentage at 10% off. You can apply this as well to specific collections or specific products. Um, so say if you have a certain type of sale, maybe it's a summer sale, you want to apply it just to the summer products or winter sale. Maybe you want to apply this just to the winter collections of products. So you really have full flexibility and customization into how you want to build out your discounts within Shopify. You can also select specific products. So maybe if it's just a certain product that you want to apply this discount to, uh, we'll just click on all collections and you also have a specific minimum purchase amount. So maybe if you want, you know, people to spend at least $20, uh, then they get 10% off uh, with save 10 at least if you you know they spend at least $20 these are all things that you can include uh, the nice thing about the summary is that's how you could build out your social media campaigns or you know your market your email marketing campaigns you can then list out all these details uh, within your promotion so that customers fully understand the discount that you've created for your online store you also have minimum quantity of items so you could even select hey, at least they have to purchase at least three items um, at checkout or no minimum requirements. So it depends on the type of purchase requirements you want to set. We'll set maybe minimum purchase of $20. You also have customer eligibility. So maybe if you, you know, reach out to specific clients on a regular basis, you can give out specific customer discounts. Um, maybe in customer service, you need to create a specific discount for somebody. You can also do that as well. Uh, or customer segments even. So building out your analytics and your uh, finances. You know, the nice thing about these different types of discounts is and creating things with discounts is then it allows you to get a better picture of how frequent people are using this. So all this uh, discount data then also goes into your analytics and your finances to see, you know, what types of discounts really move the needle in your business. So it's another good factor of utilizing discounts is you also then get that additional sales insights and sales data for your business. So you can select certain customer segments or just all customers. So you also have maximum discount uses. So maybe you want to limit it to the first, you know, a hundred people 
you know, the first hundred people get, you know, $20 uh, off their order uh, or sorry, uh, you know, minimum, if they spend at least $20 then they save 10% off their order uh, or they could save, you know, if they spend, you could turn off the minimum purchase requirement, just the first, you know, hundred people get, you know, 20% off or something like that, right? Or 30% off. Let's just say they get 30% off for the first 100 people. You could limit it to maybe the first 50 people, or sorry, the first uh, 30 people. You know, really just depends on how you want to do it. Uh, we'll stick with the first 100 people. You could also limit it to one use per customer. So, you know, they can one per customer, first 100 uses. You can see all those details here. Uh, save 10. You can also combine it with other discounts. So you can combine it other certain types of product discounts as well as other shipping discounts depends on you know the type of discount that you're creating if it is able to be uh, combined um, it really just depends on how you have other product discounts set up uh, as well you can also set specific start dates so say for example you want it to start just for the weekend you could set it set at a certain day a certain time maybe for those early birds you set it at 3 a.m you can set specific end dates as well so the nice thing about this is you can kind of set it and forget it with your sales uh, and your team, you can set things up ahead of time uh, so that you know what's going on for specific sales windows. You can set up all these promotions and discounts ahead of time uh, in your business so that when it comes crunch time, you don't have to worry about it. You can schedule these out and have things set up ahead of time to be ahead of the curve and ahead of the ball uh, when you are, you know, doing your sales or setting up your discounts. So that's another nice also a nice feature is the specific dates. Uh, and then all you have to do is click on save discount and it's probably going to tell us yeah so we need to add a specific collection so we'll just add home page this is a test store just for uh, tutorials so you click on save discount oh we already have that one <laughs> yeah so we need to do let's just save uh save 30 i guess since it is actually like 30 percent off so we'll save that and there you go, your discount is created. Now you can also uh, share this on social media really easily as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these specific uh, other types of discounts. So we also have the amount off order. Uh, we also have uh, buy X, get Y and free shipping. So we'll take a look at these next ones. So we're gonna take a look at amount off order. So as you can see here, uh, we have this one, save 10 is the amount off order. So this is really like a good one if you want to do maybe an email marketing promotion. You can also see how many times people use this specific discount. Uh, another nice feature within the discount section is you can also filter uh, based on status, method, type, combines with, start date, times used. And you really get that additional data and uh, tracking. You can also sort it by, hey, you know, what, what discount have people used the most over time? You really get a lot of additional insights. You can also sort by active, scheduled, or expired discounts as well, or search for specific discounts within your online store as well. So taking a look at the amount off order discount as the next one here. Uh, so this one here is off of the total order, right? So not limited to a specific product or or product category, like say for example, the other one was maybe limited just to the summer catalog. This could be off the entire store. So this is really good uh, if you're doing like an email marketing promotion for new customers, you know, one-time use per customer, uh, then they get, you know, 10% off their order for that one-time use. Uh, and it can't be combined, you know, you can set, just set forever. Um, depending on, you know, your staff, you can also leave additional comments here in the timeline uh, to give additional insights into maybe if you edited something or changed something within a discount uh, as well, which is just a nice feature within Shopify too. So you get that uh, extra information here and in insights uh, managing your online store. So, you know, you can set it to a maximum time use as well as I already mentioned before, customer eligibility, specific customers, purchase requirements, uh, percentage or fixed amount. So you have those options as well. This is probably, I would say the simplest type of discount you can create is just a order discount, like a total order discount. That's the simplest. Now we're going to be breaking down the automatic discount. So automatic discount makes the most sense for like a site-wide sale, right? So say for example, for black Friday, uh, you needed to do a site-wide sale, uh, Overall, you want to do, let's just say for Black Friday, you want to do automatic. So customers, the nice thing about automatic is they don't need to type in a specific discount code at checkout, which really, you know, saves a lot of time for your customers, makes things a lot easier on your end so that, you know, everybody gets the discount, right? No one's m missing out or anything like that. 
and you can set it for a specific time range. So say, hey, you're doing your promotions, you're gonna have a Black Friday sale, uh, it'll automatically apply at a certain day and time. So we can set that here in the active dates. You can set, hey, this is gonna start at this day, at this time, starting you know here, and it's gonna end at 11.59 p.m. on this day. So you can easily add this to your marketing campaigns to make it clear to your customers when your discounts exist and what that time frame looks like. So automatic discount, as you can see here, of course, for Black Friday, you set up the percentage. So let's just say 30% off all of a specific collection. Maybe it's 30% off all summer products, right? Maybe you're clearing out things for the winter time. Say, you know, you could set that up as well in your collections uh, as well. Uh, you can have a minimum quantity of items or just a minimum purchase amount. Maybe they need to spend at least $50 to get 30% off of the summer collection. Or it, you could even set up a collection that includes all your products if you want to do that as well. Uh, within collections in Shopify, you can really add any type of products that you want uh, to your collection. So you have that flexibility as well. Um, you can combine it with other discounts. So here we don't have any other discounts to combine it with, but you do have that option uh, as well. So this is a great um, feature just if you want to do like a site-wide sale, automatically applies amount off, you know, products, then that's way one way you do it with product-based discount. Another good way to do this, I would say if you are doing a site-wide sale, probably makes more sense, you know, depending on if you're trying to limit it to a certain catalog or product, then you do the product-based discount, you know, if you want it off of a certain collection. If you just want it off the entire site, then you just set it as an order discount. So that's the difference between product versus order discount. Product is just for a specific product or a set of products. An order discount is off of the total order. So if you're just trying to do a site-wide sale off of any order, then you're going to want to make sure you do that as an order discount. Now, moving into the next one, a lot of people love this one. This is buy X, get Y. So this is kind of like your BOGO at the grocery store, you know, buy one, get one free. So you can easily set this up. So if a customer buys X item, right, or if they spend at least a certain dollar amount, uh, they, you know, minimum purchase amount, then they get a free thing. So let's just say if they, you know, you could set this to specific products or, or certain collections as well. But let's just say, you know, they spend at least $30. Uh, then they also get uh, a free necklace, right? You could do that as well. So they get a free of a specific item. So you could select that item. Uh, if they spend at least $30, you get a free necklace, right? Or a free ring. Uh, or if you have a certain item, maybe they buy at least one of something, then they get one of that for free of this. You could set up, it could be the same item, like a buy one, get one free of the same item. Uh, you can have that set up as well. Um, or like I said, you have the minimum purchase. So at least $30 and they get a free necklace. Um, so, or you could even do it at a discounted value. So maybe it's buy one, get one 50% off or buy one, get one for you know, 20% off or something like that. So you have that flexibility here. You also can set a maximum number of uses per order. So maybe, you know, limited, the BOGO is limited three times. They can get a free, you know, buy one, get one free up to three times. So that's another uh, limitation you can set here as well. You really can get detailed as to how you want your discounts to apply and to create this, which really just helps bring in, you know, return sales as well. If you're doing new promotions, hey, this is what's on sale this week. You have a lot of flexibility within Shopify as to building out, you know, specific discounts. This is really one of the coolest ones, the whole buy X, get Y thing. A lot of people like this one. Um, so you can set up specific, you know, combinations, maximum discount uses, same, same as the other features, uh, the other discounts, specific customers, uh, and you easily set the active date. So right start date, end date, uh, you have that flexibility, uh, as well within buy X, get Y. So yeah, the whole setup, you really have a lot of flexibility. Buy, buy X, get Y, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one a half off, uh, spend a certain dollar amount or a certain item that they're buying. Like you really have the world is your oyster as to what you want to build out. So moving in last but not least, so that is the buy X, get Y discount. We're just going to leave the unsave those changes. Uh, then last but not least, after the buy X, get Y, we also have free shipping. So a shipping discount. Now, this is one most similar to like an Amazon. If you spend a certain dollar amount, maybe then they get free shipping. So if you spend at least, let's just say uh, $30, uh, then you get, you know, free shipping, right? So you can set up free shipping uh, as well or shipping based discount. Uh, now, you can also exclude this um 
as well if you want to you know if 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 the shipping let's just say someone orders like a big item and the shipping is going to cost you more than the profit margin of the item you can also exclude shipping rates over a certain dollar amount or maybe if a customer is in another country and it's going to cost you a lot of money to ship that item then it will automatically like uh, you know cancel out the free shipping if you if the shipping rate exceeds a certain dollar amount so if the shipping rate exceeds twenty dollars it'll automatically cancel it and it won't work you know if it excludes that then the discount won't apply uh or the free yeah the free shipping discount then won't apply you can also generate, you know, like every other one, we'll, we'll just keep it as free shipping as the discount code, free shipping or free shipping. So this is the shipping discount. Uh, so that's a nice feature as far as, you know, making sure that you're still profitable on certain sales so that, hey, you know, if you're not going to be profitable, you can set it to exclude, you know, shipping rates and make sure if, if it's only if, you know, the shipping rate is under $20, then they'll get free shipping. If the shipping rate's over a certain dollar amount, then, hey, sorry, you can't get free shipping. So that makes a bunch of sense just so that, you know, you can make sure you remain profitable on your sales. Uh, and you, of course, can also set up, you know, specific customer eligibility, you know, maximum discount uses, cus, uh, combinations as well. Uh, if you want to combine it with other sales and start and end dates, you could just set it to start. Uh, once you create it, you can just set it to start immediately. Um, and set it as active. So that is another feature that it shows you right within Shopify. Uh, and you also, you know, the shipping discounts, another great type of discount. We're just going to leave this here. So as you can see here, you could sort by status uh, as well, created by date. You really have like easy management of all your discounts right here, uh, whether it be automatic, a code-based discount, active scheduled, or if it's no longer active and it is expired. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already signed up with Shopify, I do want to mention that first link down in the description box below, brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Now, chances are you probably already have Shopify if you're watching this video. Um, so this hopefully helps you set up your discounts, create discounts that can get you more sales in your online store. Guys, once again, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload new video. Guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.